Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Jorge Hernandez with The Low Blow in Southwest Fight News here with the number one atom weight in the world, Michelle Watterson. How are you? I'm great. Just kind of winding down. Yeah. Cutting those last few pounds. You irritated that you're doing an interview fight week? No, <laughs> it's, it's expected, yeah. you know. That's when everybody wants to get all the good stuff is right before the fight starts because that's you know that's when most people start thinking about the fight yeah you're here in Victa 8 September 6 against Yusoku Tomata yeah it's your first defense of the title and I'm not sure if you're aware of this the title's never been defended since it's existed <laughs> so you've got a chance here to make history also I guess I yeah you know thinking about that now you're right and um, uh, so that means I gotta make a statement yeah. You're coming off a very emotional and physical draining contest against Jessica Penny. What was going on through that fight and then your emotions that just let out at the end? Because you seem both exhausted and emotional as soon as the fight <laughs> ended. Yeah. Well, I think just um, having to kind of like pull yourself out of, you know, deep water is, is, is pretty exhausting. But uh, for me, you know, like I, I wouldn't have taken the fight if I didn't think that I could be the champion. Mm -hmm. And so um, just all that hard work and training going into my camp and being able to to pull off the win at the end really was kind of um, you know a check off my list and, and being able to say that I'm an Invictus Adam Weight champ was kind of a, a sigh of relief I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't realize this t until before I was doing some digging on that past fight that you were a four to one underdog in that bout. Do you remember yeah, hearing some that? Of them, I, yeah. Some people were calling me like eight, eight to one. Wow. Eight to one. And, and, I mean it was huge and, and, and which I, I mean, which confused me, and you know, <laughs> after after a while, I just stopped caring what mm -hmm. everybody else was thinking. You know, it just it didn't matter. It didn't matter to me. Yeah. What is it like to prove all of those people wrong, especially when they were wrong by that much? Well, it's just you know, it's 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 nice. I, I feel like that happens a lot uh, to, to some fighters, and um, to me, I guess I. I, I can take it to my advantage. If you're gonna, if you're gonna underlook me, then that's your fault. You mm. know, I don't care. Go ahead and underlook me because you're gonna get beat. Yeah, you're the main event in the first Invicta card to be held on UFC Fight Pass. When you first heard that news that you would be the main event on, you know, with associated here with the UFC, how, how, you know, what is that like to know that you're making this type of history for female sports? <sighs> it's exciting. You know, it's been a long time since I fought. <laughs> <laughs> And so it, it's exciting to know that um, I'll be able to, uh, to be the one like headlining it. And, but you know what? I, when I think about headlining an Invicta card, it, 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 I really don't feel like I'm headlining it because every Invicta card is always so stacked. Mm -hmm. And it's been so long since Invicta's had a card that I think people are just excited that Invicta's throwing a card. So I'm glad to just be a part of that. You're on this card with a couple of teammates, Tara La Rosa and Jody Esquivel. What's the gym like? Is it crazy when it's that many teammates on one card? You know, I know the guys go through it a lot, but yeah. it's not too often that you guys get to go through it. It's good, you know. Um, uh, we all kind of, um, we're, we're peeking together, so it's great. And, um, and, you know, when you're having a bad day, it's nice to know that, <laughs> that there's somebody mm. else there that's going through the same stuff as you are and, and, and having that same emotional roller coaster as you do so you don't feel as alone mm -hmm. in the struggle. Yeah. Now your last fight I believe it was the first bout that you took since having your child, is that correct or is it the second? No, uh, third actually. It was a third already, wow. Diana Riel was my first That's and right. then I fought Lacey yeah. Shuckman and then Jessica. You're well into motherhood now, what is it, have you been able to manage the fight life and the, the mom life? Yeah, I mean, it, it's going well. I have a great support system. My husband's very supportive and, um, you know, he comes from a fighting background so he understands the sacrifice and he understands, you know, once it's once I'm a week out, um, <laughs> I'm a little bit more irritable than normal. It gets real, huh? <laughs> yeah. So he's just real supportive and uh, uh, my daughter's three now and so the hard part now, I almost think it's a little harder now because she, uh, she has her own little personality and I can't just like sit her in her car seat and, and you know, let her mm -hmm. nap while I train because now she wants to, she wants to go play on the mats, she wants, <laughs> she wants to play with mommy, she wants to see what mommy's doing and so it's a little harder having to explain to her like mommy needs this time to train on her own. Mm -hmm. So I, I, 
we're working on it. It's a balancing. Now she, what is it like when she knows you have to go to work this weekend? Well, sometimes I'll be like, mommy has to go to work. And she's like, well, where are you going? I want to go. And I'm like, well, you can't go with me because I'm going yeah. for like a five mile run. And I don't think you can run that long. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, uh, she, you know, it's just, it's just about explaining it to her mm. and telling me, telling her that mommy needs to train or else, you know, something something might happen to her and she, or she might get hurt in, mm. the, in the cage. And so we kind of sit down, we talk to her about stuff like that. So hopefully she'll understand. Yeah. And she gets. How did training for this fight go? It was great. Definitely probably one of my best training camps ever. Um, you know, on this, this time off, usually when I have time mm -hmm. off, I, you know, I party, not party, <laughs> but I go to town on the food and it's just, um, you know, I, I spend time with my family and I, I kind of take some time away from the gym, but being that I was off for a whole year um, and that I had the belt, it was, it was kind of like, well, you have all this time, but you're the champ, and mm -hmm. and so I think with that comes responsibility. And you know, if I, I, every time that I didn't want to go into the gym, I just had to remind myself that I had the belt, and now I have a target on my back. And mm -hmm. if I'm not training, somebody else is to take that away from me, and I don't want mm -hmm. to lose my belt. What did you do for strength and conditioning? I mean, I've seen you post a bunch of photos on your Facebook and your Instagram, and it, you know, you look in incredible shape. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, my strength and conditioning, uh, I do over at Turning Point, and um, Steve, the trainer, is um, great at uh, doing what he does. I, I told him that I wanted to put some, some good muscle on, and, uh, and he did that for me, and uh, I really feel a difference uh, in my ability to um, defend takedowns, my ability to actually um, be more explosive in my takedowns, in my kicks, in my punches. So um, I'm really excited to see um, how it actually works in a fight. Yeah. Now Saturday, how much do you know about your opponent? Uh, you know, I don't know too much. I knew, I do know that she's a veteran in Japan and that she, uh, she'll she take a fight. She'll fight whoever. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care. You know, she just has that warrior spirit. Um, she's a southpaw. And this will be her first time fighting outside of Japan, I believe, or, or in the United States. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and she's never been finished. So, um, Sounds like that's what you're going for. <laughs> that's a goal. Yeah. So we'll see what happens though. You know, you never know in MMA and uh, you just have to be prepared for everything. Yeah. Finally, last message to your fans. Um, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for being very patient and um, hopefully um, I won't disappoint you September 6th. And actually, no, I won't. I won't disappoint you <laughs> September 6th. <Yeah. laughs> so make sure you watch it on USC Fight Pass and if anybody's wanting to follow me and my family and what I do on a day to, daily it's I, I, I am most active on Instagram so it's just that karate hottie MMA September 6 UFC 5 pass make sure to catch your folks thank you Michelle thank you